Well, good Tuesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the day. Um, I know those folks down in the Myrtle Beach area a few days ago had a lot of rain, a lot of water down there, a lot of wind. And we, in turn, here had a lot of wind and a, a little bit of dusting of snow. But uh, the weather will change, won't it? The first Noel, 1823. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And that's Luke 2 8. No other carol cast such a spell, the sweet plaintive strains of the first Noel. Quietly sung on a snow clad Christmas Eve, bring tears to the eyes and gentle peace to the heart. Noel, 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 born is the king of Israel. If only we knew who wrote it. It first appeared anonymously in some ancient Christmas carols published by Davis Gilbert in 1823, and the traditional music evidently came from an unknown source in west of England. The poetry itself is plain. If we were to recite this rather lengthy piece, we'd get only a garbled sense of the Christmas story. There's no indication in scripture, for example, that the shepherds saw the Magi star. And the final verse of the original carol seems anticlimactic. But when combined with its wistful music, the words glow and our hearts are strangely warmed. The word Noel seems to be a French word with Latin roots. Natalis, meaning birthday. Modern hymns omit several of the verses. Here is the complete version. The first Noel, angels did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay. In fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. They looked up and saw a star shining in the east beyond them far. And to earth it gave great light and continued both day and night. And by the light of the same star, three wise men came from country far to seek for a king was their intent and to follow the star wherever it went. The star drew nigh to the northwest or Bethlehem. It took its rest. And there it did both stop and stay right over the place where Jesus lay. And they did know assuredly within the house the king did lie. One entered in, then for to see, and found the babe in poverty. Then entered in those wise men three, full reverently upon bended knee, and offered there in his presence their gold and myrrh and frankincense. If we in our time do well, we shall be free from death and hell. For God hath prepared for us a resting place in general. Of course, uh, there's always um, mentioned three wise men or three magi that came. And the reason, because three gifts, uh, the best that I can imagine. Could have been more, I don't know. Uh, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, three gifts, maybe three wise men, maybe six with three, I don't know. But uh, we'll give this song a shot. I guess we'll use the bells on this one too. See how it goes, huh? <laughs> Born is the King of Israel. 
God, I thank you for these songs. I thank you for the history of them and to read up on them. But God, I thank you most of all for um, Jesus Christ, who was born this time of year, as we would celebrate. I know the world says who needs the celebration, um, but God, we do celebrate the birth of our Savior. No matter what time of year he was born, he was born. And that's all that matters to me. He was born, he lived, he died, he resurrected, and now he lives forever. And because he lives forever, we will as well. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks. See you Wednesday.